In today's walk around video, I'm really excited to show you around this 2019 40 kilowatt hour Nissan Leaf Tecna. It's only got one owner from new. It's been kept in a garage its whole life. It's just had an MOT. It's just had a service with Nissan. It's got full service history. We can't wait to show you around. There's loads of cool features on this being a Tecna version. Let's get right into it and have a look. So as we start at the front of the car, you'll notice the car of course has parking sensors on the front and there's actually a camera under here too as part of the 360 camera system. I can then use a button on the key fob to let me in the charging flap. Now, in here we have our Type 2 and Chadamo charge connections. So this car can AC charge using the Type 2 connection here on the right at up to 6.6 .6 kilowatts, and then it can charge via the Chadamo for the DC rapid charging at up to 46 kilowatts. So that will give you at a top speed, um, around 100 miles of range in about 40 minutes, uh, more or less. Or if you're charging at home on a home charger, you'll get a full charge from empty to flat um, in just about six hours. As we come down the side of the car, you see it's got alloy wheels. They're all absolutely perfect, not a ding on there. The zero emission badge, of course, famous from the Leaf. Another camera here under the wing mirrors. Again, that 360 camera system. A button on the door handle here, so that's for keyless entry. You see the door mirrors fold when I press that. All you have to do is have the key on you, in your pocket, in your bag. Come around the back of the car, of course. Again, we've got parking sensors on the back and there's that rear view camera as well. Really generous, spacious boot in here. Get plenty of bits and bobs in there. Handy nets on the side there for storage too. And with this car, we've got two charge cables now. In the bag there, we have our charge cable with a three pin connection for charging at home or charging on a just a normal UK socket. And then we also have our type two to type two cable. So you might use this at the supermarket or down at the shops. And um, if it's not a tethered charge that you're using, then that's what you would use. If you've got any questions about that or don't understand what I just said, <laughs> definitely just get in touch here or check out our blogs and we'll give you some more information. The Leaf is a properly spacious car. You'll see now as I show you in the back here, we've got three good sized seats in the back. Isofix on those two outside seats as well. These rear seats are all heated. So there's a button um, there just to do that as well. And yeah, you can see plenty of room in the back there. It is a good size family car, this one. Let's have a look at the front then. So you'll see here we've got some great cubby storage underneath the center armrest. A couple of cup holders next to the electronic parking brake and then our gear selector. The indicator top left there will show you what gear you're in. And then at the top right there, we have our buttons. So one of those is to select eco mode to turn that on and off. And then the button there with the blue panel is for e-pedal. So this puts on some quite harsh regenerative braking and it allows you to drive the car effectively with one pedal. So you can drive around town and come to a complete stop without touching the brake. Really, really good that is. As we look in the center, you'll see our heated seat controls at the bottom there for the front two seats. We've got high and low. We've got a USB and an aux port. With the USB, we can do Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. We've got a 12 volt cigarette lighter socket there as well, along with the power button for turning the car on and off. Just above, you can see our AC controls, so you can manually control the heater and the air conditioning, um, along with having it on auto. Really handy for energy preservation. You can separately decide if you want those to be used. Um, really good to have those options on these cars. And then of course, above that, we've got our great color touch screen there. So as I mentioned, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, um, along with really good crystal clear viewing of all the cameras around the car. Um, I'll just press the button there. There we go. That's the camera at the back and you can really easily see, uh, I've got the back door open here, that's why it's flashing. But really good access on the cameras there. I'll jump in the front seat now and I'll show you all the buttons around the steering wheel. Okay, so this is the driver display. You'll see it split with the left side being the digital display. We've got a range there estimated 83% at 145 miles. Um, I do think 145 is about right for a full battery on this car, perhaps a little bit more this time of year with some careful driving. Uh, but on the motorway, um, even with everything running, I would definitely say 145 is a good solid estimate there. Um, a few more indicators on there and of course our analog speed indicator on the right hand side there so really handy to have that super visible all the time 
you see I've just brought up there our little display um, so that now links in to our cruise control we do have adaptive cruise control on here adjustable as well of course um, along with the speed limiter controlled from the buttons there on the right along with the telephone control buttons and the voice control and then over here on the left we have our buttons to move around the menu that I was just pressing there if we jump down behind we can see we've got our easy controls for auto lights auto wipers and then down here we've got our buttons for heated steering wheel timer controls and the button there to open the charge flap if we're not using the key. If you have any questions about this car or you'd like any photos or videos of a specific point that I haven't quite covered here, please do get in touch. I apologise, the video is not to the normal standard today. Adam's away, rightfully enjoying his summer holidays, uh, but on the next one we'll be back to normal. Um, yeah, any more information, do get in touch. We've got WhatsApp, email, and of course the good old fashioned telephone. This car is available for free delivery anywhere within England and Wales. And of course, we can do finance and part exchange as well. So get in touch. We'd love to hear from you. Enjoy your day. Speak to you soon.